because the topic of bike fitting is a big topic with a lot of little things and there's all kinds of messages everywhere. Regardless of if somebody has fancy equipment, uh, a certain type of a studio or this or that, all bike fits in essence come down to some very basic things, where and how you touch the bicycle that needs to be looked at and addressed. Before we begin, let's just talk a little bit about bike sizing versus bike fitting. Bike sizing is finding you the right size butt. Pick the suit off the rack, great. Tailor it, customize it, get the waist right, length right, accessorize it, like handlebars, stem, those are accessories. And the tailoring is like the fitting process. Buying a bike, having it be the right size, doesn't necessarily mean it's the right fit. So, Regardless of what people have for fancy equipment, a bike fit comes down to the following things. It's where you touch it. You touch it at the feet, you touch it at the pelvis, which is the saddle area, and you touch it with your hands, stem, handlebars, brake hoods. Number one, if we go to the top here, is your foot pedal interface. This is the most important part of a bike fit. Think about this. If you were to buy a house or build a house, What's the probably the biggest, most critical thing you want to have right? You want to have the foundation right, you want it solid, you want it straight, and you want it aligned. The rest of the house goes together really well when you build the foundation. There are some bike fits out there that don't even look at it. That's like taking a however many thousand dollar house and setting it on the dirt. You're a, uh, a human being, you don't have a price limit on it. We don't want to do that to you. We want to make sure we get a solid foundation. And so we're going to look at the cleat fore aft. Any fitter needs to do this. The cleat medial lateral, there's a little line in there. We use lasers to check out the medial lateral placement, where your knee is over the toe. We have tilt and angle of the forefoot, which, you know, for a lot of our bike fit pros, they also have a great reference manual. They'll talk to things about um, how it should feel. And a lot of people might feel more pressure on the outside of the foot, uh, where we really want to have a nice even balance across the foot. Remember, your feel and how you feel and your comfort is important to be acknowledged and talked about throughout the bike fitting process. For example, we had a fit here yesterday and the customer, he felt like his feet were sliding off the pedal. As soon as we measured that tilt and angle, we addressed it with the appropriate number of wedging. It felt even across the ball of the foot, just like the illustration in our manual. Then we have rotation, which is important. Even if you have float, you still gotta make sure the rotation is within range. Leg length, that is probably the only one that is not necessarily considered in every bike fit. But you absolutely need these, and you think about it. You have two feet, you have four to eight adjustments. That's more adjustments at your feet alone than the rest of the bike fit. This is very important to get this part nailed down. This is the part where you clip in, you don't get the chance to move. You don't get to select where your pedals are. The bike fitter has to help you adjust and move your feet and the pedals to fit you. Then we move up to the pelvis, and we have the saddle. You know, we can do the tilt of the saddle, the saddle can go up and down, and you can move it fore and aft. Now, those are three adjustments, yet it's often a part of the bike fit that is very time consuming. It takes up a lot of, uh, people pay a lot of attention to it, but it's really only three adjustments. Now, if we move on to the handlebars, this is another one, just like the feet, where sometimes not everything is addressed. You need to make sure your stem height or your handlebar height is addressed. And it can be done by moving the stem up and down. It can be done by changing the length. Uh, uh, rather the angle or moving the stem up and down. The reach can be, it can be done with a longer or shorter stem, but today we can also do by shorter and longer handlebar reach. Rotation, where do those handlebars, uh, how are they rotated to best fit you and your body? Then you can rotate the hoods on the handlebars. And lastly, rotating the handlebar hoods in. What do I mean by that? Well, this is another often overlooked aspect in a bike fit. For example, as I stand up here and I let my hands hang relaxed, you can see my hands rotate inward. You can do this at home. Most people, our hands rotate somewhat inward. They're not straightforward like this. We don't walk like this. We usually walk with a little curve and rotation inward. That's how our hands should fit on the handlebars. So I just wanted to share with you these connection points. It doesn't matter if they have expensive fancy equipment or they don't it's the knowledge and they cover all of these areas email us at info at bikefit.com again that's info at bikefit.com we'll send you a copy of this so you can have this and check it off when you'll go go and get a bike fit now none of these are really super complicated there's just a lot of them and you want to make sure each one 
gets checked off. You can check out more things that we have on our YouTube channel at bikefit.com. We have some articles on fitting, but again, email us at info at bikefit.com. We'll be glad to send you that. And we'll also hook you up with a bikefit professional in your area. Thanks for watching.